Okay, Dorothy here. This might help this video here. Uh, before you mentioned uh, going to GoDaddy and, and registering a domain name, and I told you maybe try Namecheap. Like I said, maybe go, you know, first do a search for Namecheap coupon. And you can see here, well, actually, I guess the first step you would need to go to, darn it, to Namecheap and uh, sign up for a free account, you know. Um, Come on, computer. And also, I told you HostGator for the hosting. Total Choice Hosting, that's, I, I've got an account with them, and it's the cheapest that I know of. It's four bucks a month, and you can pay it monthly. You know, some, some may be that cheap, but, but not many that you can pay that, uh, monthly, you know, for that cheap. Normally, you have to pay for six months or, or a year to, to get it that cheap as far as the monthly price. But, uh, I think GoDaddy also has it at four bucks, three ninety-five or something. But like I said, uh, you know, from what I've read and such, you, you should stay away from GoDaddy for registering your domains and for uh, hosting. Uh, but here, you know, the name at Namecheap here's where you'd register. You know, you have to just fill all this in. I'm not going to go through that, but um, you know, once you register, you can then. Uh, Decide on your domain name, whatever it might be. You know, you just click go, and then it tells you uh, if it's available or not. And and uh, actually, I guess I should show you that because um, okay, it's available. What you would do is just basically add to cart. You can see it's already checked. Okay, and here, now right here is where you would apply the code. Okay, now back to uh, the coupon code right here. Name cheap. Coupon is this site, Solar C, which actually you should probably really click on. I don't know if they have a link here or something to where they get it's probably some small commission. But anyway, I'll just go back here. And click apply the code and then you can see you know not much but you save a little over a dollar I guess uh, every little bit counts but also if you wanted to uh, keep your domain name private you can see that you get this you get a <clears throat> well they have privacy and then they also have you can get a free uh, SSL certificate which I don't think you, you would um, need this for anything but just in case, you know, if, if you're doing any kind of transaction or have any sort of sensitive information on your website, then, then you, would, you would use it. But, uh, okay, and then you'd go, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, click the standard checkout and go through the process. You have to, you're going to have to give them the, your billing information or um, you can use PayPal either or to register your domain name. Then, like I said, Go to Total Choice and, and register for an account. Um, and once you have an account with both places, and and you uh, you know register your domain name, then you would go. Well, after you register with uh, Total Choice Hosting, you you get an email something like this, which fortunately that's not my name. Unfortunately, I said, but uh, and you can see here, you know, they'll give the username and password, your your uh, domain name, your package, and such. Tells you what to do with your password. You should suggest you should change it immediately. Uh, but now here is what you're looking for. Right here, DNS instructions. You'll need these two right here. What you would do once you register your domain. Um, click let me just go forward here well you would have number of domains in your account you know would be one if you if you just registered but you could view them and then I'm going to go to my to the next page okay and then you you know you have a list of your domain names you would just uh, well let's see click on one okay and then click on transfer DNS to web host and then you would just enter in 
Oops. Didn't I see that? Okay. This. And this. Click Save Changes. And then that, that points your domain name name to your hosting account. So you know when you when you put a page on your website then it, it'll show up. And it needs to know where you're hosting it at, you know, what server, wherever it is, is is holding your files basically. But uh that that's pretty much it. I don't know if I, I made some quick notes here. Uh, you don't forget the coupon code, save you a dollar anyway. Um, yeah, you know, you do that, you know, in the evening, whatever, the next day you, your site should be ready to roll. There'll be some kind of parked page probably from uh, Total Choice Hosting when you go to your domain.com, you know, or .net, whatever it is. Okay, now, um, you said that you wanted a WordPress blog, I believe, so... Uh, I'll, sh I'll show a bit about uh, setting one of those up. I'll make another video, but one one good thing about Total Choice Hosting and, and a lot of hosts now they uh, they use what you call cPanel for the control panel, and that makes uh, a lot of things easier. For one thing, installing um, some open source scripts or CMSs, you know, content management content management systems. I got something called Fantastico, which which uh, allows you to install like WordPress or, or Joomla, Joomla or um, a couple other the open source uh, softwares um, in just a couple clicks. So uh, I'll show you a little bit about that here next.